guys. I wanted to take a moment to introduce myself. I am Joey Lynn. I am a homeschool mama. Uh, I stay at home with my son. My husband is a plumber. We are getting sued under the Ku Klux Klan law of 1871 by triggered Democrats and liberal politicians um, for flying Trump flags next to the Biden-Harris campaign bus when it drove through Texas last year. You may remember the viral video and seeing President Trump tweet, I love Texas. Um, it was so fun to be a part of that. It was fairly non-eventful, shy of getting some cool pictures. Um, but eight months later, we find out on mainstream media that we're getting sued by former state Senator Wendy Davis, somebody who works in the White House on Kamala Harris's cabinet, and other blue checkmark Democrats and influencers. Um, they're claiming we banded together on a public highway to suppress black voter rights and minority voter rights. And they claim that we premeditated assault and attempted to run the bus off the road. Now you'll remember from the videos, none of that happened. We drove peacefully alongside the bus for just a few miles, although this bus drove through Texas for several hundred miles unobstructed while people in all towns formed Trump trains to drive with it. Um, so the 62 page civil complaint is full of lies that are malicious and frivolous and using the judicial system uh, as a weapon against average Americans. This is called lawfare. They are making an example out of us to chill free speech in other Americans. In their press release, they claimed that they did not want Trump supporters to get away with stuff like this in the future. So what they're saying is they don't want you to be able to exercise free speech, which is your first constitutional right and a God-given right, by forming a Trump train together on a public highway. But they are able to drive a billboard-sized bus down the road, and that's fine. The legal fees are expecting to cost over $200,000 just to prove that what they're saying is a lie. They have upwards of 20 attorneys and three nonprofits funding this lawsuit. Again, I'm a stay-at-home mom and my husband's a plumber. We don't have $200,000 to fight this. So we're fundraising and we're counting on you to help us defend free speech, not just for conservatives, but for all Americans. They come for us first and then they come for everyone else next. Um, we've made a website. It's free for freedomssake.com. That's F-R-E-E-F-O-R. -E -E freedoms with an S. Sake. Free for freedomssake.com. Check it out. Learn about our story. See some pictures, where we're speaking next, and donate to our fundraiser so that we can fight to defend free speech for all Americans. We appreciate your support and your love. Um, if you could share this, tag somebody. We need to get our story out there because conservative media won't pick this story up and mainstream media is slandering us as KKK and bus attackers. We love you guys so much. God bless America and God bless Texas.